if you could take something inexpensive out of your closet and make it look good, what would it be? A torn up t-shirt. I feel like the best of fashion advice I could give is whatever you feel good in. I don't think it's about labels or like price tags or, or whatever. Trends, absolutely. I think it's all about a good fit. I get a lot of stuff from H&M, um, yes. like really cheap, affordable, you know, you can get your trends there. Honestly, whatever I can get a long pant from is where I go. I mean, for me, I just tell people do what you want, wear what you want. Like, life's too short to not have fun. Have fun with fashion because it shows if you're not loving what you're wearing. Confidence. I think that's the biggest thing in anything, especially in fashion. You can't be scared. You got to just be confident with what you're wearing, no matter what it is. If you if you're confident in it, then it's gonna look good. Yes. Yeah. I agree. You agree? I totally. Yeah. Agree. I mean, you're you're yes. confident. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I mean, you just gotta feel it, and then it becomes expensive. Uh, Not everything has to be expensive. In your heart. Feel it in your heart, and it got to feel good that day. Okay. Confidence. Yeah. That's right. My tip is, it's not about how much it is, it's about how you wear it. Simple as that. You can make anything look like a million bucks if you feel good in it and if it fits your personal style. You could be in something super expensive and it doesn't go with who you are, you, you can kind of read the energy. So always wear what makes you shine. That's actually a perfect question because yesterday I was wearing head to toe Zara and everyone kept asking me where it was from and then when I said Zara they were shocked. What did you do? Um, part of it was because I had paired it with a Dior saddle bag, which all okay. of us are obsessed with right yes. now. Yes. And That's with come back, yes. And with I believe it was a Louboutin shoe and a little Hermes belt. So it's it's a high low. Yeah. The other part of it too is just being very confident in what you're wearing and putting your shoulders back and walking yeah. into a room with purpose. And you will you'll look like a million bucks no matter what you're wearing. Yes, it's all in the entrance. Yes, and the exit. <laughs> Just confidence. You have to feel confident yeah. in what you're wearing. Oh my god. I like to like cut things up and get really funky with it. Like make a crop top if it's got like a piece that I don't like. I just did that yesterday and wore it out actually. There was a Oh how fun. Yeah. A shirt in my closet that had um, this like see-through lace that I didn't like. So I just cut it off and turned it into like an asymmetrical crop top and it was super sexy. Oh my gosh, with yeah. a pair of scissors in your imagination, yes. the sky's the limit. Exactly. Mm. How do you take something inexpensive out of your closet and make it look good. Add it with something that is expensive. I just try to mix and keep trying different things and at some point it's gonna look good. What about some of your super stylish advice for our friends out there who may not be as well versed in fashion as you or I are? You know what, just take one piece at a time. Just start with something little and you can always build from there. Get out of the box just a little bit. You don't have to go crazy, but take it one step at a time and you know, eventually it's baby steps, you'll get there. For me, it's a t-shirt, and I really just, I, I tuck it in, so it's like neat, and it also feels a bit dressed up, yeah. a little bit more polished when it's tucked in. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. And a white tee, I mean, it just, it's such a backdrop for so much. Yeah, and I think it's just uh, flattering to the body, too. Yeah. Different inside, and fashion, yeah. and style, and clothing has just been a way for me to express yeah. that yeah. Yeah. whatever it is that I am inside that makes me different. Wear what you want to wear, and do you. Yeah.